Desjardins members involved in a massive data breach are calling on the federal government to help protect their identities. So you'll recall last month, 2.7 million people had their personal information accessed and shared. That included their names, their addresses, their birthdays, and the big one, their social insurance numbers, all by an employee that the company says had, quote, ill intentions. Scott Peterson is tracking this story for us. So, Scott, what are the members saying now? Well, they're saying that if our social insurance numbers have been compromised, as they have, and you mentioned up to almost 3 million of them, they're calling on the Canadian government to assign us new uh, social insurance numbers in the tune of almost three million. This is uh, almost insurmountable for the federal government to deal with as far as that kind of reassignment. So this is what we're looking at. This is an online petition now being signed by 70, 75,000 people and growing. Uh, Canadians, they're calling in the Canadian government just to simply sign new uh, social insurance numbers. That social insurance number, of course, as a lot of people know, it's a nine-digit number. You need it to access government programs, to have access to benefits, to even just to work in Canada. So it's, it's a big deal. So this is a result of that uh, data breach that happened at the end of June. 40% of Desjardins clients got affected up to almost 3 million people and this is the largest Canadian you know identity potential theft of its kind because this wasn't a result of a theft this is one uh, individual disgruntled employee that deliberately leaked this information to the public so uh, Desjardins implemented security measures back in June the 20th but they're also having problems with the influx they're trying to protect their members with Equifax their or their websites getting shut down because there's such an interest in trying to protect uh, you know people trying to protect their online identity so this is why now now they're just saying, calling on the Canadian government to just assign us new social insurance numbers. But to this magnitude, you know, almost 3 million, it's never been done in Canadian history, Hannah. Yeah, 2.7 million new social insurance numbers. What yes. is the government saying about that? Well, of course, when you got 75,000 people calling on the government to do anything, they're going to be paying attention. So this is from the uh, Minister of uh, Families, Children and Social Development. A response there from the spokesperson saying that we believe any security breach affecting SIN numbers, uh, information is very serious. Our government is in communication with the uh, uh, the AMF to provide all the necessary support on this file. No doubt we're going to be hearing more from that minister as potentially this petition grows larger and even louder, Hannah. Yeah, not really an answer there as to whether they would provide the new SIN numbers. Just, you know, sometimes the first response is just that we're paying attention to this and so we might see further uh, a nuance on that. I know you're paying attention to this. Thanks for the latest, Scott. Thanks, Hannah.